the 1978 American Motors Pacer X by MPC. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies unboxing video as we get to take a look at the MPC American Motors 1978 Pacer X. And this is an original 1978 Pacer X kit, although I do know that Round 2 in 2013 had re-released it. And I wanted to find a new one, because mine's got a little flaw in it, as we'll see. And uh, unfortunately I missed the boat because now they're not producing it anymore and I didn't get any from my wholesalers. But don't let a model kit disappear from you. Check us out at, online at www.monster-hobbies.ca Anyway, we're going to take a look at some of the box tops of this thing as we head down to our bench and take the lid off this model car. So let's go do that right now and we'll see you in a sec. So now let's jump back to 1978 where we get to check out the amazing Pacer X by MPC. The 1978 Pacer X comes with a detailed engine, rear side spoiler slats, roof spoiler, front air dam, roll cage, vinyl off-road tires, vinyl stock tires, custom wheels, rally lights, and it is designed from official factory blueprints. Here we can see the stock version and down below is the street machine version. The model kit also includes air dams, custom lights, mag style wheels, roof mounted spoiler, detailed engine, off-road tires, roof rack, stock tires, driving lights, and these nice window slats. Now let's begin this little bohemian rap city by opening up the lid of our 78 Pacer X. And as you can see, I did start to work on this back in the past, but there is enough of it untouched to make a really good unboxing video. So here we have our Pacer X instruction sheet, which came out in 1977 for the 78 year, which means this model kit is one of the annuals. There's our original MPC decals, which we will take a look at at the end of this video. And then here's our body interior glass and underpan all together. We can take a look at that in a minute. I do have some chrome in here, and like I said, I was working on this, so here are the plastic components, mostly on the trees, with an, a few exceptions here and there. There's those nice window louver slats, and some of the toolboxes and things you'll find in the kit, as well as a chrome grill that I did a little black wash on. And then we've got all our other components, including our wheels and tires. There's our hood and our seats and some of the engine block. So I'm going to clear all this out of the way and let Danny the dog talk you through the instruction sheet. Gee, Trevor, I don't know about you, but this unboxing video is making me hungry. Me too. How would you like some bulgogi chicken? What is that? Bulgogi chicken is a Korean dish that I found on a YouTube channel called Chop Chop Recipe. Will it take long? Danny, I can cook this faster than you can scrape down a model kit's seam lines. You just need some simple ingredients and cooking utensils. And you too can make a great meal like this. Chop Chop Recipes shows you step by step how to cook fast, easy Asian food. Awesome! Now let's eat that bulgogi chicken and get back to our unboxing video. Oh, I'm so excited to be able to do this once more. So here we've got our full instruction sheet. As you can see, it's a big one. And it says you may build this model kit more than one way. Before you begin building a course, look over the instructions carefully and figure out which way you want to build it first and test fit all your parts. Okay, I want to show you these wheels because I really love chewing on the tires. All right, so here is a tasty treat for everybody. We have the front wheels and the uh, wheel pin and the wheel back. And then my favorite, mmm, most delicious, we've got the rubber tires. I really love chewing on those things. Um, 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 oh, they're so good. And when I want an even bigger treat, I go for the rally tires, because they're really nice. They're almost like a pie plate around here with all that nice, nice detail. Mmm, really yummy. Oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, these are the back wheels. We've got our, uh, rear wheel going into this mm, tire and then or you could put on the rally tire in the back and then it's got a nice wheel back for a metal axle 
Now here we have the 258 cubic inch AMC block in here, which is really an awesome block. And then here we've got the transmission right and left hand sides also molded to the engine block right and left hand sides. And then we've got the timing chain cover and our oil pan which glues up underneath. Step 3 shows our chrome plated valve cover being dropped on the top. And then we have our exhaust manifold and our intake manifold and a carbotutor. And then we've got an air cleaner up top. Now in step 4 we've got our belts and pulleys going on here. And this is quite a complicated system for back in the day. I'm sure glad they came up with the new serpentine belt. But at any rate, you get power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning on this belt belt and pulley system, as well as a really nice fan. Next up we have the coil, the starter, the oil filter, the fuel pump, and a distributor all dropping into place. And then when you thought it was all over, there's actually a transmission pan that goes up underneath on our transmission. Then you're allowed to drop the block into our unibody frame and suspension here, and then glue on the front wheels and your choice of the two rear wheels. I really like eating tires. <laughs> now here's my favorite part about the Pacer, and that of course is the interior, because I get to sit right here in the passenger seat and uh, take a little rest as Trevor drives around. But you'll see here we got that nice AMC dashboard for our Pacer, the steering wheel with the console molded into place, we got our shift lever, front and back bucket seats, and a front and back rear seat, as well as a CB radio, good buddy! And if you want to go for a rally version, you've also got this nice uh, roll cage in here. And there's an optional location for a clipboard. And that'll go inside there for the rally. Panel 9 is showing how to hook up this pipe from the engine block exhaust manifold to the catalytic converter. Now step 10 is where you put the, your radiator in place and drop the battery in. And there's your windshield washer fluid bottle. Now if you really want to cruise and keep your doggy cool, you can add in these street louvers for your windows. So there's one in the back and then a right and left hand side. And then here we actually have two piece rear tail lamps. So you want to paint that one color and then add in your red to the other. I do believe that's your white backup reverse light. Now one thing that makes the 78 Pacer different from the earlier ones is in 78 they put in the V8 motor. This one of course has the 6. But in order to accommodate the V8, they had to add in this little radiator thing and a bulge in the hood. So there is that grill. Now you're going to have to remove this bar that uh, puts the front fenders together. And then there's the underpan and the front bumper. So here we have the stock build of our Pacer. And as you can see, you've already put on the grill and bumper in the front and the back bumper and the rear tail lights. So you can add in these nice little rally spotlights up top if you want. But then you can put your glass in there, your interior, your rear bumper will hook on there. And then you've got the two-piece brake master cylinder that goes on the front in there. And all this puts together and then you've got your nice stock version. Now here's a car I can totally envision Lance and the Bry Guy driving around listening to some Van Halen on. Now this of course is our rally version of the Pacer and here we drop on the hood and then we put on these cool looking custom lights, front air dams, fog lamps, a toolbox, a spoiler, a CB radio antenna and a luggage rack and I can totally see them driving that car around. Thanks for doing the instructions, Danny. So now I will continue with the plastic parts. So here we have our Pacer body. As you can see, it is pretty nice. The only downside is there is no brace in between the front window, which is accurate for the car, of course. But that leaves a little bit of an issue with the molding process. And this kit, I actually have a slightly warped front fender on here. As you can see, one is higher than the other. And I did try to glue this cross brace on just to sort of level it up. But again, it, uh, well, it came unglued. So I'm going to have to add in some strength in behind here with some evergreen sheet styrene. However, that being said, this does have some pretty crisp molding on here. You've got your Pacer X logo, which looks excellent. There's a side molding trim, the little gas filler door, the Calvinator style door handles, and the door lock. And again, this kit is accurate because the passenger side is a little longer in this door than the driver's side. And that was a safety feature with the Pacers. 
uh, just to help assist people get into the back because you got that fold down front bucket seat in there. In the back on our license plate we have 1978 molded in place so you can see the difference in the annual kit. You got the nice AMC logo as well as the Pacer X logo in the back and again it looks really good on this side. And even underneath you've got the sun visors molded in place as well as all the nice roof bracing. So again a very excellent job done by MPC. The only issue of course is that warped front fender. Next up we get our interior tub and this is very nicely done. There is a carpet molded in the back as well as these pads over top of the rear wheels. You do get the bottom of the bench seat in the back in there as well as our side door panels which are pretty accurate to the pacer. And then we get our front floor pan with the shift gate right here as well as a gas pedal and our brake pedal molded into the front. The only downside are the mold marks in here. But again, they can be easily taken out with your number 16 hobby blade. And if we turn it upside down, you can see how nice and smooth it is. There are some locator uh, posts back there. And again, very nicely done by MPC. And finally, we have our unibody chassis. There's those little pegs that the posts go into. We've got fun dimensions molded in the bottom, which was part of the MPC world back in the day. And then we've got our front engine bay with all the nice wiring detail. And if we turn this upside down, you can see just how great this is. There's our gas tank, the rear axle, differential and springs are all molded into place, as is the uh, catalytic converter and exhaust manifold down here. And the bottoms look really nice. The front suspension is also molded in place. And that's where the wheels would glue in into that little hole up there. So again, some really nice engineering and simplicity from MPC. Now here we have the components that make up the white plastic parts. We've got a sprue for our engine, as well as our wheel backs and many of the other components. Dashboard, the engine block right and left hand side, the rear seat, the bucket seats, steering wheel and console, the fan belts and pulleys, the hood, and the front wheel pins that go inside there. So let's take a look at these in more detail. MPC did a really beautiful job on this 258 cubic inch engine. And as you can see, there is a lot of detail and quite a lot of parts on it. There's our engine block right and left hand side with the manual transmission. There's our belt and pulleys, the exhaust manifold, the air cleaner, the oil pan that goes up underneath, as well as our intake and exhaust manifolds, radiator and oil filter and many other beautiful components. Just how good are these? Well, if we take some of these out of the way, I can show you bit by bit. So just take a look at that amazing detail up the side of the engine block there. Just shield a little bit from the light. Again, very beautifully done. There's the frost plugs in this other side of the block. And this will go together quite nicely, much like this. And just see how narrow that engine is, just like the real AMC motor. Now let's take a look at that belt and pulley assembly. Again, very beautiful work. You can see the alternator edge is on here, as well as the air conditioner, pulley, and many other great components. It is a little bit stepped on here, so you will have to clean that with your number 16 or number 11 hobby blade. There's our little power steering pump. Again, very beautifully done. And then we've got our radiator with a nice mesh inside. Awesome work. A little special platform for the battery to sit on. And then take a look at all these little components we've got. Aren't they looking wonderful? Very nice indeed. Excellent work from MPC. Here on this parts tree we have our exhaust pipe connecting into the catalytic converter from the exhaust manifold, as well as our brake and master cylinder, the battery, the washer bottle, that clipboard, there we have our wheel backs. We also have the front air dams, a two-piece toolbox, and our roll cage. So again, very nice detail on here for the simplicity of the kit. More of a modern style battery. Again, nicely detailed. Very beautifully done. Just needs a little bit of cleanup, and there are some mold marks up around that roll bar. Here we have the parts for the custom and rally pacer. There's our luggage rack, our rear window louvers, our rear spoiler and the two wheel backs and again very nicely done now i know these have broken off the parts tree but that's okay 
maybe a couple of mold marks along the back, but at least they're not on the outside. And there's our wheel backs for the metal axle. And again, very nicely done by MPC. So here we have our AMC Pacer instrument panel, and this is very accurate to the real Pacer. Here we have our AC heater air outlet, as well as the one that's up underneath. Down here we've got our ashtray, and then we've got our rear defogger and our heater outlets, just like how they are on the real car. Up above we have our radio, as well as the heater controls for the AC. There's our instrument cluster right in the center. We've got light switches and windshield wiper uh, switch as well, and our clock and tachometer in there. And there's a little latch for our glove box and the proper Pacer logo right up on the side. Now as I bring this up into the camera, of course, you can see just the nice detail work that's all involved in there. And again, MPC really did well on making this look entirely realistic to the real Pacer dashboard. Here we have the remainder of our Pacer interior components, as well as the nice hood. And this is where it really shines. You can see all the nice detail work on the seat. The proper little beads and sewing are all right in there. Again, I glued on the back panel, so you have to forgive me for that. There's our top of our rear back seat, the bench seat. And again, nice sewing pattern in there, as well as the carpet on the back, which is prototypical to the real car. The steering wheel is the AMC rally wheel with the spokes, as well as the AMC logo right in the center. The CB radio is also very nicely done. Basically looks like a little box, but you do get all the controls up on here. And then underneath our hood, we also have the nice mat. There are some mold marks in the four corners, but that could easily be cleaned up with that hobby blade. So again, very nicely done by MPC. Next up, we have our chrome parts tree, and as you can see, there are a lot of details on here. I did paint inside the wheels with the black. There is supposed to be a little red ring around here at the ends of the wheels, which again would say American Motors, much like my 77 Gremlin has. Again, you can see just how beautiful that detail is. The wheels are well represented for the cool AMC mags. There's the front and rear bumpers. There's our cylinder head as well as those little fog lights. And then our chrome-plated fan, chrome-plated oil uh, pan, pardon me. There's our little shift lever. Now these parts did come off of the chrome parts tree. Again, I did a black wash in that grill but that is a prototypical 1977 Pacer grill. And then here it is followed by our rear tail lamps, which again are quite nicely done. So excellent molding techniques from AMC and great chrome work. And here we have our clear components. And as you can see, we've got the windshield, side windows, and rear glass all molded as one piece with the bridge in between. And if you want this more realistic, of course, you can always take your Dremel and get rid of the area inside here and glue in that glass to the top. And then we also have our red turn signal lamps at the back. Now I gotta hide these so Danny doesn't chew them, but what we have here is Goodyear Polyglass GT radials for our Pacer. You get four for the stock configuration, or you could also add in these Goodyear Suburban Night type tires into the back. These are the Permacord tires, which are very popular in the 70s. And as you can see, these do look like pie plates, like Danny said. Great tread on there. And these are all solid tires, so they're not uh, hollow inside like some of the other AMT kits of the time period. Then our little Goodyear's on here as well. They've got a nice tread. Just look at that. These, again, you can always clean up with your tire wheel spinner. And I'll leave a little link up in here for that uh, video to drop down. So here we have our rally decals, and we've got a cool company, Milodon on here, and we've got Schieffer, MP, Mondello, there's the EMPI if you're racing in Europe, Lucas is our headlight, we've got Mr. Gasket Company, Weber, Dunlop Tires, CB Lights, and Bosch Spark Plugs, as well as the MPC logo. And you get the cool white and yellow stripes, as well as the number 14 to put on your cool rig. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed our great review of the 1978 American Motors Pacer X by MPC. And if you love these great videos and unboxing reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. 
And model kit builders, don't forget to check out our supply of available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. You won't be disappointed, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, keep it AMC and keep it weird.